Several parliamentary committees are mandated to investigate cases of mismanagement of money and submit their reports to the oversight committees of parliament. This, in several instances, has met with resistance from the parties implicated, while others, there are officials who have lost their jobs. The NRM caucus has been known to shield its own, especially in cases where huge amounts of money have been misappropriated. The chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee, Alice Alasu, says this is regrettable. Two, the onus is on the Parliament of Uganda. Whether their choice is to become the smoke screen that shields the thieves. A recent report by the Public Accounts Committee that followed an investigation over the misspending of over 10 billion shillings meant for the revolving fund for interest-free loans to small business owners named a number of officials. The NRM caucus met on Tuesday to hammer out ways to save the officials when the report came before Parliament. The MP for Madiokolo County, Martin Drito, a member of the NRM, says the caucus is wrong in this respect. I think it should be these individuals to defend themselves and not for NRM caucus to come with a kangaroo system of defending them. Gilbert of Kila County asserts that the funding to these committees should be halted since most of the reports do not see the light of the day and if they do, the recommendations remain on paper. We need to stop all kind of investigations because even if we waste money, we investigate and the report is not taken seriously. Then why are we wasting taxpayers' money? Bufumbida East MP Idi Kwizera says there are NRM MPs who sit on the Public Accounts Committee and sign the reports, but then turn around in the NRM caucus meetings and defend those implicated. He adds that the rules of procedure of parliament could be used against them. It is a disciplinary measure within the committee. We shall discuss that matter. Because you cannot sign a report, a committee of the report, when you have not read it. Many other MPs say this has put the NRM party in bad light because it demonstrates that they do not trust their representatives in the Public Accounts Committee. They are passing vote of no confidence onto them. That means they pick the most and best members of parliament, they send them to be in the Public Accounts Committee. It will mean that we the committee, we the NRM, we are beginning to fight our own committees and it may not give a very good impression to the rest of the country and the public that we are being just to them. For now, the question is whether it is really relevant to spend days and money investigating cases for which the recommendations are not implemented. And in many instances, those named are exonerated. More research all NTV.